Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about Java Auto Boxing and the performance implications that boxing and unboxing your Java primitive types can have on your JVM. To demonstrate the performance implications of boxing and unboxing Java primitive types, I've got this example which is based loosely on one of the examples in Marcus Hertz JMC tutorial. I highly recommend it. What I've got is I've got a class here called Snoop Int, which is really just a wrapper class for an int field. It's got one int and a getter for it. Named it after Snoop Dogg because he's a wrapper as well. And then I've got this other class that does some Java primitive type auto boxing, and I've named it after a great boxer, Mike Tyson. And as you can see here, we declare a map, a collection class, and we put 700,000 elements in it. We're testing performance for sure. And each of these elements is just one of those Snoop objects. The number from zero to 700,000 goes in as the ID, and then we use the same field as the key for the uh, Java map. Okay, so we end up getting a Java map with 700,000 elements in it. And then we do this very contrived example where we take a copy of all the values, and with the copy of all the values, we then check to see if each individual copy can, is has its corresponding ID in the original map. So, I mean, we're basically unit testing that um, the map.values method works, but it causes a bunch of objects to be created and comparisons to happen. And it's a good little test just to, to see how auto boxing impacts performance. So I'm gonna run this application. So here's the, my Mike Tyson class, I'll say, run as a Java application. I'm gonna use my auto record, Java flight recorder launcher. I can show you that in just a moment if I come over. Well, I guess I can't show you that because um, this is gonna keep running so much. There it is, I'll open up this launcher and I've got an auto launch here which says, hey, when this particular application runs, kick off Java flight recorder, delay a few seconds as you start and record for 120 seconds. Now. I think I probably got enough recording right here. So I'm gonna click enter. That's gonna cause a new file to be created. That's my Java flight recorder file. And I'm gonna open up that Java flight recorder recording with the Java Mission Control Eclipse plugin. It's gonna think about that file for just a second. And when it comes up, you'll see it's flagging allocated classes. If I ran this a little bit longer, this would have come up red. Right now it's just a yellow warning, but it's saying, hey, you've got a problem. The most allocated type is integer. Um, here we've got it using value of, it's in this run class of Mike Tyson. And this is a pretty good place to start identifying your performance problems. If I go over to JVM internals and look at garbage collection, this is where you really start to see some of the issues. So I think I might get rid of the heap post GC there and get rid of the meta space use. And you can see this garbage collection is going up and down like crazy here. And you can see that there's pretty long pauses. So we've got a, a pause here of 889 microseconds. I've got a pause here of 700 so i mean these are significant pauses there we go 1.316 so as the program runs the garbage collection takes longer and longer to do and this will really start to consume large amounts of, of memory as well and if i actually take a look at some of the memory over here it looks like whoa java.lang integer six point no wonder i was getting out of memory exceptions the last time i tried to run this with eight threads yeah, that's a huge amount of memory that's getting consumed here. Okay, so here's the fix. I'm gonna go into my code. Hey, Marcus, I'm gonna go into my code. I'm gonna go into this Snoop int class and where it's just int, I'm gonna just replace it with integer. Okay, quick change, three changes there. And now I have to actually make this change over here. So instead of i, it's integer dot value of i and do the same thing over here so that now when I'm putting the objects into the collection class, I'm not doing Java primitive type auto boxing. I'm doing that boxing myself. Now I'm, but now I've got reference types in the map. The object is a reference type. I don't need to do any Java primitive type boxing or unboxing. All of the, the actions are done with me. I use the wrapper class in every instance. I'm gonna go over to my launcher, just take a quick look at that launcher there. 
Um, that's not the launcher, that's the flight recording. Here's the launcher. I was gonna rename, change the name of the file that I create. So I'm gonna call that allocation two, click save. And I run this again, and hopefully I won't get any out of memory errors. In fact, I think this will run much more efficiently. So I'll click run as Java application, say, hey, do that Java flight recorder recording so I can look at the results of the profiling in Java Mission Control. It's gonna run for a few seconds here. I'm gonna go over to Package Explorer. Oh, I got that console issue again. There we go, put the console over there. I'm gonna do a little refresh here on recordings and I should see a new file created. Okay, now we're still writing to that file. I think I'll come down here and terminate this application and now open up the second allocation file, the second running of the JVM flight recorder. And you can see here the warnings about the garbage collection and the auto boxing of Java primitive types, the performance problems that were indicated earlier are gone. And if I come over here to garbage collection, you can actually see, I don't even have any metrics on garbage collection. Like I don't think garbage collection even happened that whole time. And if I look at memory, I had gigs before, and now, I mean, I, I could, that's like the size of a, 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 smaller than a YouTube video, size of a big graphic on a website. Um, and all of that was achieved simply by avoiding the use of the auto boxing of primitive types in the application. I just use the integer class in each instance. We don't have to switch from primitive type to wrapper class, wrapper class to primitive type. We just use the reference type everywhere and the auto boxing of Java primitive type performance problem goes away. Now I have to say, this really surprised me and I should probably say thanks for Marcus for pointing this out to me, but I thought that when they introduced auto boxing in JDK 1.5, that part of that was performance improvements to make sure that the auto boxing process didn't have serious performance implications, like causing seven gigs of memory to be allocated as you go through a map. Uh, I was clearly wrong. And you know, it's one thing to have an assumption, um, but if you do have an assumption, make sure there's some way to validate that assumption. Um, otherwise you can find yourself in serious performance problems. And that's one of the great things about Java Flight Recorder and the Java Mission Control you can go in here, do recordings, and validate those assumptions and avoid introducing serious performance problems in your applications. And there you go. There's some interesting insights from Java Mission Control and Java Flight Recorder on Java auto boxing of primitive types. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java, Jakarta EE, DevOps, enterprise software, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.